And joining us once again to answer your Facebook questions is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. All right, the first question is from Will Alvarado. He wants to know, can you emphasize the death rate, the total number of testing done daily, and why testing supplies are so hard to get? I can. So the death rate in Hawaii is 1.5 people out of 100,000, a total of 20 fatalities in state, and two, two individuals that call Hawaii their home but were on the mainland passed away. So a total of 22 people. That's the lowest death rate by a, a huge margin as compared to anywhere else in the mainland. Our testing capacity has been diminished slightly because they can't get as many reagents as we'd like, but we can still test over 5,000 people a day, down from 6,000 people a day. And we've done 99,000 plus tests. 1.3% of all people that have tested have ended up being positive. So this is kind of where we are right now. I'd like to see us double that capacity to test and then be able to keep our people safer. All right, the next question is from Rusty Cannonball. He wants to know, if it's not safe to gather indoors with more than 10 people, how is it safe for students to go back to school where there may be as many as 35 students in a class? It, it would be ideal if we could spread students out. And I am one of the people that feels strongly that we should have gatherings of no more than 10 people. The schools are going to do their best, and they're going to provide lots of different options for each of the different complexes. I know that this is kind of a uh, football that's bouncing around right now. Fortunately, kids have not been experiencing severe disease, thank God, because otherwise we would have shut the whole world down. No one would have moved one, one inch if kids were suffering worse. Now, Jan Avellina wants to know, why aren't teachers and students required to get a negative COVID-19 test before coming to the first day of school? Well, it's really a pure numbers question at the moment. We don't have the capacity to test, as I said, more than 5,300 uh, people per day. We would have to do tens and tens of thousands of tests to do that. I do think, though, that for people who are at high risk, we should do the test, especially for teachers, and we have to do extra to support our teachers who are really champs. They're, they're becoming frontline emergency workers in this case. I am consulting with one of the school districts on the mainland, one of the largest in the state, in the country rather, giving them some free advice and helping them with some of the, uh, the plans that they're putting together. They do intend to test uh, tens of thousands of personnel and over 100,000 students. So we'll see what they come up with. And if they can make the model work, then I'll recommend it to our, our superintendent. All right, we'll keep track of that. The next question is from Sherry Fuji. She wants to know, why doesn't the governor issue a statewide mandate for everyone to wear a mask? It would be less confusing if everyone is on the same page. Uh, I think the governor should do that. The, the challenge has been that there are some people who are putting out some cherry-picking lawsuits at, to, you know, to poke away at what they're describing as individual freedoms and trying to stop things like masks or stop the quarantine. So having lawsuits hovering over the governor and the attorney general in the state is not always helpful, and the counties were stepping up. But I say we probably have to bite the bullet and do that just for clarity. But let me say right here, right now, everyone, period, should be wearing a mask. And this is your lieutenant governor saying it. It's the safest thing to do. All right, and the final question is from all of us here in the newsroom. We want to know... Where are you at? Because this doesn't look like your normal setup here. Are you at a spa? No, I, not spa, but visiting friends on the west side. And so I didn't want to miss out on sharing, uh, sharing information with you. So I traveled across to the west side this morning, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity to share uh, what we have to do. So everyone wear masks, be safer, and stay in groups of 10 or less. This is one of the many ways we'll beat COVID. All right, thank you very much, Lieutenant Governor. Take care of yourself, and we appreciate the time. Anyone deserves to be on the west side, that's you.